Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to explore another question from the JE Advanced Mock paper recently released by IIT Kanpur, as you know. And this is the question number six from the paper. And as always, uh, the aim is not just to solve it, uh, but to go deeper, uncover the deeper insights hidden beneath the surface. Since I am currently bound by my school teaching commitments, I have not been able to create detailed videos for each question that I wanted to do so. But anyway, uh, but I, uh, but at the same time, I didn't want that to stop me sharing the values. So what I did, I have written complete solutions to all the questions and aiming to keep them explanatory and thoughtful. You can find the download link for the full solution set in the video description. It's a PDF actually. Uh, and also I will st uh, walk you through solutions, some solutions right now in this video. So let's get started. So this is the PDF you will find through the link and in particular I have to show you what is my take on question number 6. So uh, you can see that I, I actually tried to be as detailed as possible in each solution. So it took me a little bit time because I started you can see the 9th May 21, 53 I started. So few questions I did it in night and few questions today morning I completed. So you can see that all the solutions I have done in descriptive way and put in particular this, this solution you can see, uh, we can apply the, uh, this uh, definite integration property uh, wisely and we can uh, find the answer in a very short uh, span of time, means we don't have to make it lengthier. If you have attempted this question, you can notice what we have to find. So this, there's a chain or maybe the pattern, you can say the iterated pattern here, that the Vn plus 2 is equal to Vn cross Vn plus 1. It means the next vector in the set what we are going to construct should be the cross product of the first two vectors. And this chain should not stop. Even if we have the number of elements in a particular set is limited. Why I'm saying because you know that this is the set S, we have Vn, N is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. And T is Vn by magnitude of the Vn, that is the unit vectors uh, elements are there. So here the first question is asking, there exist V1 and V2 for which Ns is 2. It means I have to construct a set which consists of only two elements, two vectors, but the cross product will produce the third vector, but still it will not be the different from the previous two vectors. Then only the set will consist of two vectors. So it is not possible as you can see that if I want to find the V3 by just taking the combination of V1 and V2 and take the cross product, the V3 will be completely new vectors. It will not fall in the uh, V1 and V2 plane at all. So how can B equal to any of them and stop the iteration there only? Therefore, for n is equal to 1 is not possible is very obvious to understand. Now my point is the V3 part, the second uh, uh, option we have. Is it possible to take the three vectors and stop the iteration means whatever we do the after three vectors, we do this process after three vectors, we will end up with the three vectors only. It means the set will contain only three vectors. So the idea is that we can simply keep guessing and finding out like IJK, that's the easiest case. But let me just go deeper and think why and how this IJK is working. So you notice that uh, here I have this V3 is V1 cross V2 and uh, I need V4 because I have to stop at V3 only. So V4 I need equal to V1 then only the v1, v2, v3 will be the three elements in this particular set and then it will be valid. So for v4, I have v1, v2 cross v3 and safely I can substitute the v2, sorry, v3 in terms of v1 cross v2 
and from there it is a it is a vector triple product you know that so we found this thing now notice to make this whole thing equal to v1 what are the conditions needed for v1 and v2 so you see that i need this term only but i need the magnitude of v square is 1 and v2 dot v1 i need 0 so that the v2 will not be any more in the scene and i need only v1 with the magnitude 1 i mean the uh, coefficient 1 then only the v4 will become v1 so what we can take it here that uh, i will choose the v1 and v2 such that the dot product 0 and the magnitude of v2 is 1 that is one condition you can apply but remember one thing that after v4 i also need v5 as v2 so what we can do and and many solutions you can find that after that also the cross product we have to apply in terms of this uh, v this found value of v4 but there's no requirement we see what is the, what is my point is i need the v5 which is the combination of v3 and v4 but already we have assumed that v4 i need v1 so i am i'm assuming that v4 is v1 only and at the place of v3 i i actually i can write v1 cross v2 in that manner i will end up with again this is a cross product vector triple product i will end up with this result and this will give you the idea that i need this v2 vector it means our magnitude of v1 should be also 1 because already v1 dot v2 is 0 we have taken so v1 dot v2 is 0 and magnitude of v1 is also 1 so now for any cycle i need these three things the magnitude of v1 magnitude of v2 is equal to 1 and the v1 is perpendicular to v2 means we, if we can choose any two unit vectors which are mutually perpendicular this cycle will work and how we can see so this is the second part i have given the detail but you can see the eg choose is what ij and the v3 is k and after that the cycle stops i mean the cycle repeats it means the other new vectors uh, create creation stops and here also i can say that uh, i have chosen another random vector to show you there is no need of solution uh, like writing the solution like this you already solve it but to go deeper let's check this v1 is i have taken which is also a unit vector and v3 i have taken unit vector and if you see that the v3 will come out to be this and after that v4 will come out to be this which is already v1 so this will work for any three vectors so uh, suppose you have to find this uh, v4 again so we we don't have to find out other iteration there is a wise technique we'll do it so that's why i've written that the v5 uh, we have to make a cycle walk because i need now four vectors in the third option you can see there exists v1 v2 and for which ns is equal to 4 so i have i need four vectors and again after four if you find five the iteration uh, starts and we will not end up with the new vectors at all so how we can actually see that so this is the v5 which is the result of the cross product of v3 and v4 and v3 is v1 cross v2 and so v4 is this one and again you do all this cross product and everything and it will give you some long expression and again you make the conclusion that is not required why so because i know that to make the cycle happen i know uh, actually uh, i i need v1 cross v1 perpendicular v2 such that v1 magnitude and v2 magnitude is 1 and that gives the uh, fourth vector back again as v1 because three vector stops and after this fourth vector will happen so wisely what we what we are doing that we are choosing v2 and v3 in such manner and i'm just not not knowing about the v1 so what will happen suppose i choose the v2 as any such vector and v3 is any such vector so that the v3 magnitude and v2 magnitude is one and v3 and v2 are perpendicular our procedure will start from v2 and the fifth vector will again will become v2 yes or no v1 i don't know i will i will come to that so we start from v2 so v2 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 v3 will give you the v4 where then and so on so v5 will become again v2 so three vectors already created and i can choose wisely v1 the fourth vector because cycle now starts from v1 so let me just give you the idea what I'm doing that for this purpose, I'm choosing V2 as I, V3 as J, 
and v4 is k so in cycle repeats because v5 will become v2 you know that the i cross j is k j cross k is i so of course this v2 will become again 5 so we have chosen v1 and uh, sorry v2 v3 and v4 so how can we choose v v1 again so you see that i need v1 cross i is equal to j because i have the v1 here and this v1 cross v2 i need as j so of course i can take v1 in such a manner other than that ijk so that the result of this cross product will become out uh, will be the j so though so we can choose v1 as k plus i and so i choose k plus i to uh, make the cross product with i vector i can end up with j and now i have four vectors already in scene the v1 v2 v3 and v4 and all are four different vectors and the iteration starts from here when you get 5 the v5 will automatically you know that the j cross scale i so will go there after that and again the cycle uh, repeats so in this way we can uh, use this uh, insight and that was the take of mine on this question the other uh, solutions also i have done you can see there is a uh, complex number mapping solution and there is no such kind of mathematics i have done it simply give the idea that how rotation can be uh, uh, taken or rotation can be uh, utilized to understand every uh, options uh, wisely and the answer will come in seconds this is the this is already actually a very lengthy questions but uh, you can try um, this question is also very technically uh, sound question because here we have to draw the graph and here i have try to make you understand uh, by written cons written way that how the graph can be understood and how the graph can be plotted uh, for sine 6 pi uh, this thing x minus 1 the whole square so what I, whatever i'm talking about you will understand when when you at, you have attempted this question before so you attempt this question if you have not attempted and then only you will understand my solution and everything and this is also one question you can see that in uh, that many uh, solutions we can find out this is also valid solution that e to the power mi minus x i can substitute as uh, like a tan theta or maybe the i just make it here and then e to the power x i can put tan theta and so on this is also valid but here my attempt was to just make you some uh, algebraic solution without introducing the trigonometry and it worked here and you can see that uh, how i have approached here uh, this is uh, a little bit uh, uh, tricky one so here i have tried to uh, give my insight in the in this question again and you can read the solution and you can learn uh, what i wanted to convey and after that i think yes this is also one question a uh, very nice question it is the question number i think the paragraph second part and first part both i think it's the first part no no this is the paragraph question, question number 15 and question number 16. So th they are asking that the area of this reason 1 to alpha and the area of this reason alpha to alpha square are same. And we end up with a very nice uh, equation here. And it took me to recall everything what we have discussed in the class sometimes. And this is what f alpha is equal to alpha alpha square, f of alpha square. And this, uh, this is actually based on a very old question of IIT. And you notice that also many students, if they have done the hyperbola, they have encountered with this kind of equation uh, now and then. So you can see that the f alpha is equal to alpha alpha square, f of alpha square. So I can write the fx x, x square, f of x square, and we can multiply x and x both side to end up with this uh, constant, and so fx is k by x. And this is the standard result we usually. Uh, 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 encounter with often while solving the questions okay and this is the second part of it and here one one glitch uh, conceptually that you can notice that it is a 1 by x and gx is given whatever I'm talking again I'm repeating you understand when you go through the question first so if you have not gone through please go through and then only you will understand what I'm saying so gx is this 1 by x to n so you, this is n tends to infinity, so we cannot assume n as uh, what constant it is. So we cannot use the uh, Newton Leibniz rule of differentiation under integration, like a g dash x, uh, ux to gx, and so on. So here we cannot apply that thing. So but uh, you can find that this is also working there. If I if I differentiate it directly, 
this will become zero and so on the answer will come but conceptually it's wrong so what is my take is there we can simply find this g of 1 pi first and then g of 1 pi plus h after and i have assumed this whole thing as ut so that i don't have to carry again and again and after that if you just take this g of 1 pi to g of minus g of 1 pi plus h this n term because i am using this a to b and b to c uh, definite pro uh, integration property so the n will go i can directly write pi to uh, this term and so uh, we end up with this integration and uh, this integration uh, n isn't uh, so just to get rid of this n i have already written there and from there you can find the limit what is asking so this is the solution i have uh, attempted to make it descriptive and all for you you can just go through the solution by downloading the uh, pdf all right all the best stay math active